Many thanks for you to USC for inviting me here. It's my uh, great honor to share my research here. And standing here, I, I feel many difference from uh, me with uh, other speakers. First is uh, I, I'm the only one who uh, doesn't wear a suit. <laughs> so sorry, uh, uh, about five years ago when I gave a talk to Yale Law School, the professor who invited me there, he said, you sh uh, your Chinese, not only you, but all Chinese should, not, uh, should never wear a tie. You, you, uh, you could uh, liberate Western men. <laughs> so since then, I never wear a tie. <laughs> but I, I used to wear a Chinese, uh, traditional Chinese suit designed by a good uh, uh, a friend of mine. But uh, before I came here, uh, I, I told my wife, I'm, I'm going to sunny California. I don't need a suit. But I, I, I didn't realize it's such a, a formal uh, a conference. Uh, so this is the first thing. I'm sorry. And uh, <laughs> uh, secondly, uh, uh, I'm, I found uh, I'm the lowest education. I, I, just, uh, I only got my MA degree. And thirdly, I, I'm the only uh, speaker who come from mainland China. Uh, I just attended another conference in Italy, which is also about uh, uh, China and Europe, uh, entitled uh, News Silk Road. Uh, it's about uh, half speakers, uh, mainland, mainland, uh, mainland Chinese people. So, and, uh, and my English is poor. So uh, because of this, maybe I could take advantage uh, at least for <laughs> Uh, maybe two or three minutes. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, talking about uh, U.S.-China relationship, the first time uh, when I heard about this issue was about more than 40 years ago when I was a little boy. My father told me the, the earth is not like a plain land. The, the earth is something like a ball, which really uh, shocked me. I, I think how can we stand uh, if uh, we, uh, upside down? <laughs> uh, but the most amazing thing my father told me that if you dig a hole, <laughs> if the hole deep enough, you can get America. <laughs> <laughs> and, and people uh, in America suffered a lot from capitalism. <laughs> we should work hard to liberate American people. Then, uh, many years ago, when I was a graduate student in Chinese Academy of Social Sciences, uh, we had some professors from UCLA teaching uh, full-time uh, English training for one year. Uh, one of the professors uh, who majored in sociology, if my memory is correct, he said that when he was young, he got the same story. He, he told the same story that uh, dug a hole to China. And the uh, Chinese people suffered a lot from socialism. <laughs> But now we, <laughs> we don't have to dig a hole. We have internet. <laughs> OK, uh, today uh, I would like to talk. Uh, uh, first, I would talk, uh, talk something about background. Uh, what about internet in China? And then how people access internet in China? And uh, how people are using the internet? And, uh, I, I, I add one thing about uh, internet business because I found some, someone from industry also attended this conference. Then uh, maybe I have very little time to talk about media in China because internet is a new media and uh, also online communi community and public opinion. Okay, background. It, uh, if we, uh, uh, about several years ago, when I was interview, interviewed by Asia Times uh, about internet in China, he, then he, he wrote his article, started with that, if you search internet access in China, and you could find many links. And among these links, about 40% are about uh, in, in, uh, information control, government control, something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, only less than 20% about uh, internet boom in China. And uh, academic research is or something also like this. Uh, can I? You will see this quite a lot about uh, human rights, uh, democracy, or political control in China. 
And a recent report by uh, Reporters Without Borders uh, highlights uh, eight countries from here with uh, more than, uh, more than uh, 100 points uh, are a so-called uh, internet enemy. But uh, actually, since 1996, internet grew very fast in China. Now it had uh, more, uh, 137 uh, internet users in China. When, in, uh, uh, when uh, in, in the West people talk about uh, digital divide, uh, that uh, me means if you don't have enough money, you, you cannot buy a computer. Then you, you cannot use computer. If you uh, don't have a, a good education, you don't know how to use computer, then you have less information, you, can earn, uh, you may earn less money. So that's the digital divide. But actually, uh, it's not really the case in China. If, sorry, if you, uh, the solution is internet cafe. In, in large cities like Beijing or Shanghai, uh, Guangzhou it costs about three yen per hour in internet cafe. I was just told uh, by someone yesterday that he went to Gansu or somewhere. <coughs> Outside his hotel, there are three internet cafes. <laughs> and uh, this one is uh, quite typical. Uh, internet cafe in a small town. Uh, I did, did the research in year 2003. Um, it's a typical ch uh, traditional Chinese house. This room used to be a meeting room, and these two sides are, are used to, uh, uh, what was it, the sleeping room, the people sleep there. So now they, they, they change the two parts as an uh, uh, internet cafe to, you can see here, the. Xing Xing He Wang Ba. So it's, it's a kind of, it's very, very cheap, just one yen per hour. Uh, that means uh, one US dollar for eight hours broadband use. So uh, my methodology is mainly doing survey in China. I did, uh, up to now, I, uh, the, uh, in, in 2001, I did the first survey, and 2003, the second one. Uh, the first uh, time I did the survey in Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou, Chengdu, Changsha. Uh, and in 2003, because uh, I got funding from Marco Foundation, so I got uh, more, uh, two more provincial capitals, Xi'an and Shenyang. And the uh, most interesting thing is the five small towns. Uh, if you are interested in that, you could download the report from the internet. Okay. Uh, although there, there are many people using internet, but uh, it, uh, internet access in China is still at the early stage. Uh, although there are uh, 137 uh, million uh, users in China, but compared to the large population, it's less than 10% users in China. And uh, even in large cities, it's just less than 50%. And uh, uh, most uh, internet users tend to be young, male, well-educated, and well-paid, so it's not average user. And it's interesting that in 2005, I found more than 70% uh, internet users never buy things online. And more than 40% internet users do not use search engine. So if they don't use search engine, so is that internet or game machine? But I think uh, these two numbers should uh, uh, increase this year. Should more people buy things and uh, more people use search engine. And uh, quite interesting that uh, about 30% of users do not have email account at all. <coughs> and for those who do have email account, uh, only 35% your email users check their email every day. So email is not heavily used in China. And, uh, only 35% users have more than five years internet experience. So uh, uh, from this uh, chart, you can see uh, <coughs> more uh, male than female are using the internet, and uh, younger people tend to, uh, you can see uh, nearly 90% uh, users, uh, uh, more than, uh, nearly 90% uh, young people use internet, but uh, uh, about 15% use uh, old people use internet. <coughs> and education, uh, you can imagine, higher uh, educated people use, tend to use internet, and higher income people tend to use internet. So, uh, but not many people buy things online. 
uh, according to the survey in 2003 and 2005, maybe I used it, uh, about 75% about people never buy things online. And uh, most, uh, about 35% uh, internet users have uh, more than five years internet experience. So most internet users are uh, new users, not uh, old users. Why I ask this question? Because you can see here, the, the longer internet experience, the more they, they more like to read news, or use internet for work, or to, uh, use internet for general browsing, or to uh, email, or to uh, use search engine. But the only thing uh, this game, no matter they have longer internet experience or not, they, they all like to play games. <laughs> <laughs> so internet, uh, although internet is supposed to be an information highway, but uh, I, I would say in China, it's more like an entertainment highway. So uh, we, we already uh, see that uh, 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 actually you, you don't have to have a higher uh, education. You could learn internet from internet cafe. Many people can teach you how to do that. This photo can show uh, uh, also in that small town. You can see how they learn to, to use internet in, in an internet cafe. But the problem is that in this kind of internet cafe, what they learned is not seeking information, but playing games. So, uh, this one is, uh, uh, two years later, I went to the small town again with an AF AP reporter. Then you can see something more at that, uh, the digital camera. It's, uh, 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 it's a uh, well-known saying that uh, on the internet, no one knows you're dark, but now, by using this digital camera, <laughs> they do know your, uh, whether you are a, a girl or boy, <laughs> or a dog. <laughs> so uh, we also ask the uh, people's online activities, what are they doing online? The number one online activity is reading news. This is very different from the Western users. According to the surveys in the US or in, in UK, the number one uh, uh, online act activities is, is uh, checking email. But in China, the number one is uh, uh, you, uh, reading news. But the third one, fourth one, and the fifth one are all about entertainment. So uh, the number one online activities is reading news. But uh, if we ask what kind of news do they read, the number one is entertainment news. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, not many people buy things online, but if we ask for those who do buy things online, what do they buy? They mainly buy entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> and not many people search, use search engine, but uh, if we ask those who do search online, what do they search? They search leisure and entertainment. And this one is uh, when I gave a talk in Italy about uh, uh, internet use. I searched uh, the, the, the major search engine in China, Baidu. The top 10 keywords people search. Oh, it's, so I, I used to use my computer because sometimes the other the computer cannot show. But number one is uh, Xunlei is a software for QQ. The second one, uh, I, I think, is a Yoshi game. And then the, uh, so, so you can see. All the top 10 keywords are all, oh my gosh, only five minutes. So I have to, so, uh, so uh, uh, th this results uh, I gave present, uh, Stan must remember the first time I gave this uh, uh, show uh, the, about if internet should be controlled. Most people believe, in China believe internet should be controlled. You can see how many people from 2000, one, 2003, and 2005. Uh, so, but if we ask what kind of content should be controlled, it's more like uh, pornography, violence, and, and so on. I have to hurry up. Maybe I escape this, but this is a very interesting part about Google and uh, 
Google and uh, Baidu, but uh, I, I may not have time. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, 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 about media, media is, uh, you, you can see, uh, TV is still the number one uh, use, uh, internet use, uh, if compared to the uh, population uh, and in, in urban areas, uh, or less than 50. But uh, if we ask how much time they spent on these different medias, we can see the internet users spent more time on the internet than TV watchers watching TV. But if we ask what kind of uh, content do they trust, people tend, still tend to trust domestic media. That, this result is also the same as uh, in 2001. Uh, Stan must remember this. So uh, online community, I just give one word. Uh, you can see the uh, traditional Chinese uh, relations are more uh, based on family relationship. But on the internet, you can see people spend more time on friends and colleagues rather than brothers, parents, or spouse, or, or, or lovers. Uh, we asked uh, if the uh, internet increased contact, contact with people who share the same political uh, interests. You can see in China, people use internet to contact uh, for political purpose much more than other countries, including the US. Online public opinion, I mean, not. My God, three times. Three times. <laughs> so uh, the, uh, uh, the difference in, in China, this is a very famous uh, website, Sina.com. Almost every news, you could uh, give comments after you read the news. And this is a famous uh, case. Every, almost everyone knows that Sun Zhigang, because of this case, uh, the Supreme Court changed the, uh, the regulation. And, and SARS also another example that uh, Hu Jintao and Wen Jiabao, or Hu Jintao went to Guangzhou, Wen Jiabao went to uh, visit uh, Beijing University. They all mentioned the same thing, that they learned uh, these uh, uh, people, they fight against uh, SARS. They learned this information from the internet. This is the first time the top country leader say the same thing almost the same time. And um, I may not have enough time uh, so uh, this is an example of uh, how people discuss uh, things. That this one said uh, because of the price of uh, housing is very expensive in China, they said the government really, uh, it doesn't mean the government uh, doesn't know this, but uh, they, they know that, but this government is not really served serve to people. They, they really could uh, criticize government. And this is a good example. Uh, someone mentioned this photo uh, yesterday that, uh, I don't know how to, how to translate, but this, he just uh, doesn't want to move. <laughs> uh, but, but, uh, so he just stayed here. The other part already moved. Uh, partly because he, he used to be a <laughs> Kung Fu champion. <laughs> he tried to protect his uh, private, uh, private oh, only one minute. So th this is another good case that uh, Liu Yong is a bad gangster, uh, but uh, uh, he, he was sued to, to uh, uh, capital uh, punishment. But uh, then a good lawyer helped him to have, uh, uh, what's that, reduced to two years uh, later. But uh, then the online public opinion uh, uh, said he must have money to uh, give uh, this government official also help him. Then uh, the Supreme Court sent a uh, uh, judge to the, the city, sentenced him to death. Then uh, the, the East Online said this is a victory of online public opinion. Then, but after that, many people realized it's not really a good case. Uh, this is the internet rather than the law that <laughs> killed the uh, But uh, on the internet, uh, most people, uh, uh, in my survey, most people believe internet could help uh, politics to help people to uh, provide more uh, opportunity to criticize government or this stuff. Okay, so uh, so you can see the, uh, only only one. Uh, so, uh, 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 by using the internet, people uh, have more opportunity to criticize government policies. So only China, more people agree than disagree, but other countries are all disagree. But I would argue, uh, uh, China. China uh, this uh, online public opinion in China, but uh, I would argue 
Chinese government pay too much attention on this uh, uh, public opinion. This is not, uh, not real public opinion, but I, I don't have time to talk about that. I'm so sorry. Okay.